If you have inflammatory bowel disease and your symptoms have resolved, you may wonder if you can stop medications. In this video, let's discuss the risk of doing so as well as the benefits. First, why do patients who have had success with these medications want to consider stopping them? Many people are concerned about the long-term effects of these medications, but now that we have a couple decades of experience with their use, we know that they're generally quite safe, even over the long term. That said, patients have different responses to the medications, and if you're having some side effects from them, but your symptoms are well controlled, it's understandable that you would want to avoid those side effects and hope to maintain control of your disease off the medication. Cost and convenience are another issue because patients feel like their life starts to revolve around these medications. But before stopping, explore if a patient assistance program might help to defer some of the costs to you. There's also concern of being immunosuppressed, especially if you work in a field where you're at risk for getting an infection. That can be anything from a teacher to a healthcare worker. But consider that if you stop these medications and you flare, you may end up on steroids, which have their own potent immunosuppression that carries its own risk. So being well controlled on a stable regimen is often safer than risking being thrown back on steroids. Ultimately, it helps for you and your doctor to understand what you hope to achieve by stopping the medication so that you can make a thoughtful evaluation if it really makes sense for you to do so. Now let's talk about what the risks are of stopping the medication. The main risk of stopping medication I've already named, and that is having a severe flare, which can mean that you get hospitalized or that you may even require surgery. It could also be that when you get a flare, attempts to recapture control of your disease isn't effective, even with medications that once worked. And this is because they can lose their effect and your immune system may start to recognize those medications and inactivate them. Thirdly, you can have smoldering chronic inflammation, maybe not quite enough to give you severe symptoms, but enough to increase the risk of cancer. Now we can defer some of those risks by having routine colonoscopies. That's another important consideration for the long-term effects of inflammatory bowel disease. Obviously, one of your goals is to keep your inflammatory bowel disease under control. So how large is the risk of the relapse that I just described? We found in studies that patients that were previously well-controlled, even for a year or two, on biologic therapy, who then stop, have a quite high risk of having a relapse over the next one to two years. And that's about a coin toss. Nearly 50% of patients can have relapse within two years after stopping biologic therapy. Is there any way to predict who will be at greater risk of one of these flares? We know that younger men and people with more aggressive disease are certainly at more risk of a flare. People with fistulas also seem to have a special risk for flare, and that's probably because those fistulas are acting as reservoirs of inflammation that lead to a recurrent disease. Also, if you're a patient who has general good control of their disease, but maybe has an attack every year or two, those will likely continue even after you stop medications, and those flares can become very deep and persistent and lead to recurrent disease that is uncontrolled. On the other hand, are there any predictors of success? If you're a patient who's had a surgical resection of the disease portion of your GI tract, then afterwards you are likely to enjoy a disease-free period. And that's a time that you can likely be off medications. If your disease has been medically managed and not required surgery, then ideally you're going to have at least a year symptom-free without any flares. And it would be great if we can do a colonoscopy to see that you have true healing of the GI tract, even at the microscopic level that is confirmed by biopsy. It's also great if we can see labs that show that you've had restoration of vitamin D, B12, iron levels, and protein, because that reflects a GI tract that is properly absorbing those essential nutrients. It would be helpful for your GI team to track non-invasive inflammatory markers along the way so that we can see the very high levels when you were initially diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease and now very low levels that we hope will be maintained even after stopping therapies. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, I hope you found effective relief from your current therapies. If you're at the point in treatment where you're starting to think about stopping therapies, hopefully this video has given you information to have an effective conversation with your GI team. Please subscribe to the channel for future information about inflammatory bowel disease. Thank you and be safe.